Praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to Just Call Me Sarah. I am Anna T. Broughton, and I am so delighted to be in your homes on this evening. And we're going to have a wonderful uh, time on Just Call Me Sarah. Um, we know that we have been going through some challenging times uh, with uh, COVID and so many other issues that we've been dealing with. And so many families are going through bereavement, I mean, hurting and so what the Holy Spirit directed me to do is to bring some pastors on who could encourage you tonight and hopefully lift up your spirits to know that uh, God is with you and he's going to see you through this and he's going to dry your tears. I do have a scripture I want to read um, before I introduce our guest tonight. And it's coming from Nehemiah 8 and 10. It says, Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto the Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. I love that scripture because whenever I'm going through anything in my life, I go to that scripture. That's one of my favorite scriptures that I go to. And I think about that, what it says, that the joy of the Lord mm -hmm. is my strength. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to encourage you with tonight and let you know that, you know, you, you're going through a hard time. You know, uh, you lost some loved ones. You're going through bereavement. But the joy of the Lord <laughs> mm -hmm. is your strength. Amen. So we want to comfort you with that tonight. Mm -hmm. To my left... I have Apostle Hedigan Brill. Hello. Living Faith Ministries. God bless you, sweet woman of God. God bless you. <laughs> and then I have Dr. Uh, Valinda Simmons Amen. and her beautiful Amen. husband, Dr. Greg Simmons Amen. from the Rock Church of Greenville. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 <laughs> they were with me uh, a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. on Nightline, mm -hmm. and we shared this topic on Nightline, but I feel like that God want to do even more and speak into somebody's life. So, right, I'm just going to turn it over to them and just let them flow tonight mm -hmm. and just let God use them. So, Apostle, talk to us about people that's going through bereavement. How can we help them? Um, well, you know, when we were on a few weeks ago on Nightline, it was so much I felt like we didn't get to say. Mm -hmm. And... God gave me the example of how Christ prepared his disciples mm -hmm. for his leaving. And he, at least he attempted to. It was after everything had taken place when the comfort came yeah. from the things he had told them and showed them. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times we don't, we do a good job of ministering to the sick. Okay. You know, we pray healing, mm -hmm. you know, God heal, deliver, set free. Mm -hmm. But you know, Ecclesiastes says that there is a time to die. Wow. There really is a time to die. Mm -hmm. But we as a body of Christ, we do a poor job mm -hmm. ministering to the dying. Okay. And okay. letting people go mm -hmm. and let them know that it's okay to die. Mm -hmm. um, we say we've got all the faith that there's an afterlife and that it doesn't end here and that we'll, it's like a blink, we close our eyes here. But we act like mm -hmm. That this is the end. Okay. You know, yeah. but I remember when my dad died mm -hmm. five years ago. Um, he was 97. Wow, praise and God. I posted on Facebook um, <laughs> three days, no eat, no drink. Mm -hmm. My sister heard that. She lives okay. in Toledo, Ohio. Mm -hmm. She got her arrangements and she got home. And that Friday, it looked like he was going to pass and she was traveling. And I said, Daddy, if you could hold on, Ellen is coming and she really wants to see you. Yeah. And it's like he took a new determination. Wow. And he held steady. Mm -hmm. And when she got in, it was late. And so um, she visited a while. But that Saturday, we spent the whole day singing to him, mm -hmm. praying kissing him on his little bald head, you know, <laughs> telling him that we're going to be okay. Yeah, and it's okay God. for you to go yeah, and wow. to see mama. And, you know, so we made it all right for him. Yeah. And so when he did give up the ghost that next Sunday, it was 
that Sunday morning, because this was on a Saturday, early, about, just about the break of day, set, uh, Sunday morning, he gave up the ghost. Wow. And it was a celebration. Yeah. We was like, he's home. Yeah. He's home. Celebration. He's with mama. Yeah. He's with his mama and daddy. Yeah. You know, and he's with Jesus. And he's with Jesus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First of all, yeah. he's with Jesus. Yeah. And so we need to learn as a body of Christ how to minister to the dying mm -hmm. and how to help that family prepare for their loved one to go home. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, because sometimes God heals on this side. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he heals on the other side of Jordan. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Dr. Amen. Belinda, y'all talk to me about this. How can we comfort some people too? Thank you. Thank you, um, Apostle, for sharing that. Yes, yeah. Amen. 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 I appreciate uh, yeah. Apostle yeah. for, uh, you know, all that you shared, you know, yeah. because Amen. my dad passed too, you mm -hmm. know, and the thing was, you know, he began to direct us to sing a song, yeah. and it was, Lord, prepare me. Ooh. So I believe that sometimes our loved ones already know, and they're trying to help yeah. us be all right wow. with it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we're on before, and I had this scripture, and I just really want to revisit that, if okay. that's okay, yeah. just for a little bit. It says in 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, Ooh, concerning them which are asleep, mm -hmm. that you sorrow not even as others which have no hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, God doesn't want us to be without understanding, without yeah. training, yeah. Yes. you know, without knowledge mm -hmm. about yes. those that make their transition. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yes. he says, sorrow not, sorrow not. Mm -hmm. even as those that have no hope. Yes, it's right. okay to have sorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, oh, everybody's yeah. got to go through a grief period, yeah. mm -hmm. but don't sorrow like you don't have any hope. Yeah. Right. And the reason why, you know, a person might not have hope is because they don't know. They don't have information about those that have made yeah. their transition. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, those that are uh, are asleep or that have made their transition, that have yeah. died and gone on, mm -hmm. you know what we need to understand? We need to understand, as the Bible says, mm -hmm. that they are precious yeah. in the right. eyesight of <laughs> the Amen. Lord. Amen. His Amen. saints are precious. Yeah. Yeah. In wow. other words, they're mm -hmm. valuable. Mm -hmm. You know, death is not a light thing. Come yeah. on. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's Amen. not a light That's thing. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, That's the truth. Dr. Gray, you had death in your family not too long ago, about a right. month and a half ago, maybe, your brother. Yeah, something like that. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you had to turn around and preach the homegoing service of one of your members. Yes, ma'am. How, how do you handle that? You know, how... Mm -hmm. Talk to us and give us yeah. some strength tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, for me, the answer really is God. Um, I think like Dr. Linda was saying is that, you know, you got to have an understanding, yeah. you know, of what death actually is and the importance of having a relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, before um, I was a Christian, you know, of course, I experienced, you know, death of family members and so forth, and I handled it differently. Yeah. Um, I wasn't church, but I wasn't a Christian, and yeah. you know, I wasn't saved. And so my understanding of, of um, you know, passing away or transitioning was different than, than it is now. Mm. Um, and I guess the way I handle it now really just just actually trust God, wow. you know, because I know if you have a relationship with God, you know, the transition will be a good transition, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and like I said, death is hard. You know, it hurts. You know, it hurts sometimes. But, you know, when you have um, that relationship with God yeah. and you know, you know, where you're going to, yeah. you know, and that's the thing you got to know. You got to have that relationship yeah. with God. Yes. Yeah. Um, and that's all the difference in the world because when you have a relationship with God, you know, it's, you have something to really look forward to, so to speak. I don't know yeah. if that's the right word. Yeah. But um, I think you can transition in peace. You can transition in joy, you know. You can transition uh, with a smile on your face because you know <laughs> that um, you know we're used to. There's a, a scripture. Uh, I'm not going to read it, but it says pretty much we're at home in this body. You know, this is this has been a home for a long time. Yeah. You know, and but we can't be here in this thing forever. Right. You know, we have to transition to God. Yeah. And it says pretty much that it's uh, it's it's. It's something to look forward to. Yeah. It's saying, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. 
and God is going to bless us and we're going to have a new body, Amen. you know, eventually. So the thing is, um, it's just knowing, like I said, like you said earlier, power is knowledge, I think someone said. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. just having that, that knowledge of, um, you know, um, it's not what I thought it was going to be yeah. because of my relationship with God. And I tell you, um, heaven and hell is real. And I'm not trying to be, you know, but no, when I was truth. when I was unsaved, yeah. you know, I was I was in Korea and I was, you know, used to drink a lot and party and all that stuff. I was mm -hmm. married, but you know, I was partying <laughs> with some of my friends. And when I was in Korea, um, six gentlemen had passed away mm -hmm. from charcoal poisoning. Mm -hmm. um, at the time, the, the the way they heated the homes was uh, charcoal bricks was under the floor, and if you don't crack your windows, a good chance. Well, I was, you know. I had a, I don't know if it was a dream or a vision or what to call it, but it was real. That's all I know. And I heard of hell, but I'd never read about it. And so in this vision, everything was pitch black. And in the middle of all this blackness was like a rectangle, like a picture. Yeah. And I was getting closer and closer to it. And, you know, like I said, I never read about it. But when I got close enough and I knew what it was, it was I could see people, you know, there. And they were, you know, going through yeah. things the Bible talked about. And I, yeah. I yelled out, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go. And it stopped. And I started backing up, wow. you know, from it. Now, I still, I was, I was straight for about three days. And then I went back to drinking again. <laughs> but the thing is, is that, that, that picture I saw was when I was unsaved, when I didn't yeah. have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. But now, giving my life to the Lord, it's a totally different picture. Wow. You know, it's something beautiful, Amen. you know, something awesome that um, I know who I'm going to be with, you know, my Lord and Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ. So. Amen. 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 It makes Praise a difference God. knowing Amen. God. Yes, it Amen. Does. I, uh, mm -hmm. I thank you for God. sharing that yes, because when you have a relationship with the Lord, mm -hmm. That makes all the difference. Yes, it does. In mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. Right now, we get ready to go to a song by Amen. Becca. She's going to be singing the Lord's Prayer. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Well, that was the beautiful Becca uh, singing the Lord's Prayer. And what we want to do tonight is just bring you some hope. Yeah. Yeah. Some comfort, yeah. some joy, some peace. Mm -hmm. um, you're not the only one that go through this. That's right. We all have. And we're going to go through it again. Mm -hmm. But we have to be there for one another. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Belinda, tell us how can we be there for one another in a time in times like these? Amen. Well, we can be there for one another by praying for one another okay. mm -hmm. and encouraging one another uh, in the word, yeah. encouraging people to uh, receive comfort. Because, you okay. know, some people, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, they, they're at that place, you know, mm -hmm. where they cannot receive comfort. But I want to say on today that yes. there is a blessing wow. for those who mourn. Yes. And the Bible <laughs> yeah. says that uh, blessed are they that mourn for mm -hmm. they will be That's comforted. Right. Yes. You will, weeping yes, may endure for a night, yes. but yes. joy will come in yes. the morning. Yes. You know, uh, Apostle was talking about that, yeah. that uh, Jesus had to go away. Yeah. And the reason why he had to go away, it was expedient that he go that he because right. he was going to send mm. another comforter. Another yes. We have the spirit of the living God mm. living on the inside yes, of us. Yes. Wow. Not just with us, but within yes. us Amen. to Amen. comfort us. Amen. And, yes. and, and I tell you, that is wonderful. And also, we are appointed mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Jesus appointed something for mm -hmm. Zion, mm -hmm. and that was beauty for ashes, <laughs> the I oil of joy for Amen. mourning, yes. right. Come on. the garment of praise mm -hmm. for the spirit of uh, heaviness, yes. Yes. that we Amen. might be called yes. the trees of righteousness, yes. the yes. planting yes. of the Lord. Yes. I'm Hallelujah. so excited yes. about Amen. that. Yes. He Thank gave you, God. us mm. something yes. to yes. get through this season yes, of mourning. Yes. And I, I tell you what, mm. I just sent that somebody's mourning out yes. there and, yes. and, and that they're catching hold to this right now. Yes. Yes. And so mm. I just... I just speak a benediction over Hallelujah. them yes. right now. God. I pray now yes, that God. the God of mm. hope yes, would God. fill you with all joy, yes, peace, God. and Hallelujah. believing yes. by God. the power mm. of the Holy Ghost yes. Yes. in Holy Jesus, Ghost. Name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. I know they felt that in, yes. Their, yes. In, their, in their spirit, down in their soul. Yes. Yes. Apostle, you want to add anything to that? Uh, Yes, I wanted to say that um, we need to learn how to be good comforters. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Amen. I remember at my mother's passing, a lot of people came and mm -hmm. gave us their sentiment. But one of the things that helped me most, mm -hmm. it was a friend who had just lost her mother about three months before, mm -hmm. and I wasn't aware. Mm -hmm. And she said, I lost my mom, mm -hmm. so I know how you feel. Wow. She say, you won't get over it, but you'll get better. Wow, and that God. comforted me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I want to go to this scripture. Yes. Um, uh, 1 Corinthians mm -hmm. 15th mm -hmm. chapter mm -hmm. in verse 55. Yes. And it says, O death, where is thy sting? Mm -hmm. O grave, <laughs> where is <laughs> thy victory? Yes. Yes. Amen. That's another yes. shout yes. on right yes. there. Yes. That's another shout right yes. there. That's another shout on right there in the name of Jesus. That's why we have to evangelize our mm -hmm. family, yes. our loved ones, That's our neighbors. Right. Amen. So it can take the sting out of it. Come yes. on. Amen. Come on. If we know that they know the Savior, it takes that, the sting out it. of them. Yes. Amen. Right. We know that, that they're going to something better. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that that the grave ain't got no victory. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because their body is there, but their soul is going on to be with the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So they still have the victory. Yes. If it came by an accident, uh, some kind of kind of misfortune, the sting, amen, mm -hmm. can be taken out. Amen. And they can still That's have the good. victory if they know Christ. Amen. That's, That's a song That's that we good. used to sing back in the day. It's, I got a new home. Oh, Ooh. come on. Over in Zion. Oh, it's, Zion. it's mine. It's, it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. mine. It's mine. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> amen. <Glory to> Praise <laughs> God. Dr. Greg, talk, amen. talk to us. Amen. Well, I, I think also one important thing is if we know someone that, that, uh, Loss, loses a loved one, yeah. I think it's important to stay in contact with them. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times, you know, when it's over, you know, a week later, two weeks later, people stop, you know, but I think it's good to continue the encouragement, mm -hmm. you know, once a week or whatever. I try to do the same myself, try to maybe once a week or once every two weeks, just let them know you're Reach still out, loving yeah. them and caring for them yeah. and you're still praying for them and 
uh, you you know uh, there to encourage them, and you know you you know you go they go through you're going through with them, but you're mm -hmm. coming out together with victory. Yeah, you know, man. and one one last thing I like to say also is that um, you you can know, you know what I'm saying? It could be yeah. 11 59, 59 and you could hook up with Jesus, and you know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's and right. Just a so scripture also in Luke uh, uh, 23, when Jesus was on the cross with the two male factors, and, yeah. and uh, one of them said, "You know, if you be the Son of God, you know, get deliver us all." Mm -hmm. The other one said, "Look, you know, you need to, you know, we deserve what we're getting." That's right. And he said, "You know, Jesus, you know, remember me." And he said, "This day you'll be with me in paradise." Wow. You know, yeah. and it was 11:59:59. Yeah. But you know, God, you know, Jesus said, "You're gonna." be with me today with me. you know so yes. the thing is getting in touch with the Lord you yeah. know, uh, having that relationship with God yeah amen. praise God amen praise hallelujah God. yes ma'am oh my God that yes. was awesome yes. 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 Thank you yeah, and that's what we want to do. We want to encourage some people yes, and, yes. and share the love of God. Yes, it's, yeah. it's yeah, it's, it's not over. Right. Yeah, no, it's, it's not. No, it's not over. It's really that we, mm -hmm. we live in this really old body, mm -hmm. yeah. but we're yeah. going to a, a home in heaven, a yeah. house. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yeah. And yeah. eternal, yeah. not made with hands. Yeah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. It's going to be a family reunion. Yes. It says that the dead in Christ shall rise first. Yes, come on. Those that remain will be called up, called up. To meet Hallelujah. them, and we Amen. shall forever be, be with the yes, Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. Family reunion. Yes. Yes. Amen. So the most Amen. important thing is to get everybody saved. Right. Yes. We've got Amen. to push this thing. Yes. We've got to um, mm. reach out to people mm. and let them know that if you want to see your loved one yes. that yes. died in the Lord, you get in the Lord. Come on. Amen. 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 And you're going to have right. the biggest celebration <laughs> ever. Come on. Amen. Come the trumpet sound. Amen. Wow. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Praise That's God. I, I, I thank God for that because mm -hmm. I'm sure we all have had family members oh, yeah. going mm -hmm. on be, to be with the Lord. You shared yeah. about your father. You shared mm -hmm. about your father. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so, mm -hmm. you know, but God, his grace is sufficient for yes, us. Yes, 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 yes ma'am. I am so glad yes, that, Ooh, that Jesus, when he went away, he prayed and he asked mm -hmm. the Father to send back the comforter like yeah. you talked yeah. about yeah. earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need that comfort. Yes, Amen. Yes, you know, we did. need that strength. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, God, did, God don't want us to walk around you know, yeah, you go through a process. Yes. You're going to be sad. Right. You're going right. to grieve. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. But God wants to pull up yeah. out of that yeah. 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 by His Holy there. Spirit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amen. 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 So talk about Amen. that, Dr. Gray. He don't, I mean, because you, I mean, <laughs> as you being pastors, you all are pastors. Mm -hmm. Y'all deal with so much. I know I listen to Pastor Dogan on every Sunday. Mm -hmm. He's sharing about Mm -hmm. A funeral that he has to attend, yes. mm -hmm. yeah, yes, two yes. or three times a week. Yes. You know, that's got to be draining on you all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, talk about the grace of God. Well, God's emergency favor is just good. I yeah. Mean, uh, you know, when it comes to grace, it's like there is. I guess just through that relationship with the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, um, and you is is like a sense, if I can say that, that you know. His favor is still with me, yes. you know, uh, whether I'm grieving or not, you yeah. know, going through or not, his grace is still there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one thing I, I know is that God is familiar with what we're going through. Mm -hmm. That's oh it. You know, he, and that's, I think, him knowing and him and Jesus going through the deaf experience himself, mm -hmm. you know, and taking the, the keys of deaf in Haiti is that um, he was right there. I think grace came for us, yeah. wow. you know, uh, because he led the way, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and of course, I got one more scripture. Amen. <laughs> I might not read it, but um, it, 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 well, Jesus said, Look, he said, Do you think I have to stay here? He said, Don't you know that I can call, you know, legions of angels, yes. you know, to deliver me from this cross? I don't yes. have to go through this thing. Yeah. But he made the choice to go through. Yes. And that choice, you know, I think was part of God's grace and him leading mm -hmm. the way and showing us, you know, that. This is not final. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is like a brand new beginning. Amen. You know, and you're going to be with me, you know, in paradise. And I'm mm -hmm. going to make a way for you, you know. And also talk about grace. He said, look, because I got to go away, I'm going to send you a comfort. <laughs> yeah. You know, the yeah. Holy Ghost, I, yeah. you yeah. know. And, you know, it's just, it's like God just, just pulls it all together, you know, mm -hmm. pulls our spirit in and pulls our soul in, you know. Yes. And, you know, where we just know beyond a shadow of a doubt 
that God is with me. Amen. He's with Amen. me. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to tell you one more thing. Amen. You know, we talk about uh, his grace. You know, God, he, he shows us that he's there. Yeah. I mean, angels, you know, some of us, I've seen angels. Some, I, you know, we know a sister, he said, she said, I was praying. You know, my room got hot and the whole room lit up. She said, I walked outside. I turned around. She said, there was two nine-foot angels in my room. Wow. You know, right. and so just, you know, God's grace is just there for us. Wow. You know, he Praise lets God. us know, you know, you're not alone Amen. in this thing. Amen. I, uh, we only got a couple of minutes and we're getting ready to close out. Just call me Sarah, but I want to thank you all for coming. Mm -hmm. I know we only had a short time to mm -hmm. share, right. but I believe that what was said Amen. was needful mm -hmm. yes, in times like these. Yes, and I think about, as we close, close out, I think about Mary and Martha. Yeah. Yeah. You know, how oh their God. brother Lazarus died. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They told Jesus, that if you had been here, yes. mm -hmm. my, yeah. brother my brother would not have died. Right. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, you know, he prayed. He yes. wept. Right, he right. Wept. Yes. 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 yes, that's right. But yeah. he told them, he said, I, that your brother's going to rise again. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. said, oh, no, I know he is. Yeah. In the last day, mm -hmm. you know, in the resurrection, mm -hmm. he said, I am the I resurrection. Am the resurrection. <laughs> Come on. Hey. That's he said, I am the resurrection. Yes, yeah. And though he was dead, yet Come shall on. he Come live. On. I want to tell Amen. somebody tonight that your brother, your sister, Come your on. mother, yes. your father, yes. whoever it is that passed on, on. Amen. if they were saved in if God, they, saved. Come on Come on. they got the resurrection That's on the inside of them. Thank yeah. you for yeah. tuning in. Just call God me Sarah tonight. You. Dr. Valenic, please close us out in Amen. prayer tonight. Amen. 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 Father, Amen. we just thank you, God. Thank you and yes, praise Lord. you, God, thank tonight, you, Jesus. God. Yes. Yes, God. Lord, for the oil of joy. Yes, God. God Hallelujah. we ask God that you would touch people everywhere yes, as they God. go through their morning yes, process. Lord. Let yes, them know, Jesus. God, that you have sent comfort, yes, God, God, that they can have within Hallelujah. and all Lord. around them. Let them know mm -hmm. that they'll get through the days, yes, they'll God. get through the months, they'll yes, get God. through the years, yes. and they keep their hearts and minds stayed on you. Yes, yes God. And we thank you and yes, we God. praise we you praise today, God. God. Right now. In Jesus' name. Jesus, Jesus name. name. Amen. 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 Amen.